Juan Pablo, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Um, how are you? I'm doing great, man. How are you? How's it going? So I'm sure anyone who's watching this is probably a bit confused as, you know, how are me and you talking right now? Um, I have my story of how it kind of lined up. I mean, basically, it was kind of an innocent conversation I was having with the club. They asked me if I was watching any TV shows uh, recently. And I'm like, yeah, I've been watching The Bachelor. Uh, and then just in passing, I was like, yeah, uh, my favorite season was actually the Juan Pablo uh, season. Back in the day, I was actually in college uh, when I watched that. And that's all you really got to say these days. And they made a post on social media. They tagged you and the power of social media it kind of got us connected. We started chatting, we started chopping it up. And uh, yeah, I would like to say, you know, a, a friendship is blossoming here. And uh, yeah, anything that you would say that's different than my version? No, no, that's fine. That's exactly what it was. I, I got the, 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 the uh, post and I was like, oh, who's this? Who's this team? Who's this guy? Okay. Let's just have a little fun. I mean, my first question, I guess, to you would be, you got to live every single guy's dream. You got to date 30 beautiful women at once in hopes of finding one. Uh, my question is, uh, how tough was it to remember all their names? Oh, well, you know, um, it's funny because people think that's the dream and, and that you date those girls and you basically get to know them a little bit, you know, like... Um, it was my season, uh, was 27. And I remember that was one of my fears getting into this. I was like, how am I going to remember everybody? You know, so basically on the, on the first day, you have a producer with you uh, at all times. I have a producer. So he will write the name plus some of the things we, we talk, basically, so I can start remembering. So the first couple of days is, is very hard to remember the first night I, I don't remember if I had to send home like eight so I just had to remember 19 and then uh, and then you kind of cheat a little bit you get the producer he'll tell you and stuff like that so what's her name again <laughs> but uh, but but after a while you get used to you know yeah I wasn't sure if you put like a name tag on them or something like that or no 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 it's it's more it's more like because obviously you will remember more a conversation than a name so, for example, I'm just going to say Nikki. Um, she was a nurse. Da, da, da. So then I was like, what, what was the name of that nurse again? You know, uh, oh, Nikki. Okay. And then after a little bit, you're like, okay, Nikki is this one. This is Claire. This is the other one. This is Andy. You know, so it's fun. And I was hoping you were going to give me some advice on how to remember a girl's name. I thought you had like some tricks, but. I'm terrible with names, by the way. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible with names. You know, I say somebody, hey, nice to meet you. And their name and I'm like okay what's your name again what was his name again it's I'm terrible terrible I think that's a guy thing it girls, might be. girls can just remember a name yeah. forever somebody told me like repeat their name oh nice to meet you Nico and you and you will remember but it never happened so going into the show obviously you knew it was going to be on tv did you like set up any like rules for yourself that you wanted uh, to kind of follow along uh, or no? Did you kind of just be yourself, be natural, and forget about the camera? Yourself. Yeah, I was just myself. You know, one of, one of the things that I put into consideration and, and have in my mind always was uh, my my daughter. You know, I have a daughter. You know, whatever they try to make you do, maybe you won't do it, basically, you know, because, uh, you know, you have to set an example for her. And I wouldn't want my daughter to be seen dad doing stuff that maybe a gentleman will not do or you know it, that, that was it and and for me it was like um they wanted me to be me which i think it was a mistake because if they come in and say listen i want you to be you we need you to do some stuff uh, but I, I it got to a point that some some parts were uncomfortable and i had a conversation with them and i said i want you to be you okay fine because I said, you want me to act or you want me to be me? Mm -hmm. No, no, I want you to be you. Okay, fine. So then after that, every time I got something that I was kind of weird, I said, that's not me. Simple. The Bachelor is a reality show. Do you feel right. reality was portrayed to me, in the season? To me, when you reality. Yeah, to me, is you, you have to be real. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be fake. Because even though it's a reality show, it's because it's something real. And it's something about somebody's life, you know? somebody's life, somebody's family, somebody's daughter, somebody's 
and the girls too. Is their life is, you know, if one is a hairstylist or a cooker or a dog lover, whatever they are, you know, that's who they are. If you fake it, then that's not you. So when you watched it back, do you think it gave a fair representation of how the whole process played out or no? Was it? No, they twisted? have to make it show. They have to twist it a lot. They have to edit a lot. So it's kind of, you know, I wish I could, I was able to edit it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any regrets? Oh, uh, no, no. At the end of the day, you do it. Um, being as much as yourself as possible. And I did everything as I thought. So people say, well, what you, don't you regret not giving the ring? I've never given a ring to anybody back then. And I met this girl 40 hours and I talked to her dad and her dad said to me, well, if you propose to her, it's because you're hundred percent sure you're going to marry her. How are you going to marry her if you don't even know her? You know, mm -hmm. so, you know, it's more about respect than any other stuff. Yeah, no, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, I've watched, I mean, here's the thing. Everyone thinks that I'm like a huge Bachelor fan. I've watched you are. two, I've watched two seasons. <laughs> I watched yours. And then obviously with everything that's going on in the world, I got a lot of extra time on my hands. So I've been watching this season. Okay. I've only watched two. Okay. Um, and I think it's, I don't want to say crazy, but a bit wild that people actually propose at the end. So when I watched yours, I was like, yeah, of course. Why would, why would he propose? That just seemed like uh, the normal thing. But then I'm watching this season and, you know, God bless the guy, but he's, fully committed to proposing at the end and I'm just like wow like that seems like a pretty big commitment for like you said not really possibly not really knowing the girls but to each their own like you like you ah, to me if if somebody wants to propose it's great if not that's great too you know that's it um I guess final question about the bachelor then we can get uh to soccer because obviously that's something we share in common hypothetically you know in a number of years down the line your daughter comes to you and says Dad, I want to be a contestant on The Bachelor. What's, <laughs> what's your response going to be? You know, I say you can go. That's fine. Be yourself. Uh, be aware that anything you said, anything you do, they will twist, they will use it or twist it or whatever you want to call it on their um, advantage. Simple. So if you, if, if you're yourself and they tell you to do something, you don't want to do it, then you just say, I don't want to do it. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So it's fine. You know, everybody can have experience. I, I tell people like, some people say, oh, I really want to go on the show. What do you want to go on the show for? Oh, because I think it's cool because you travel. Yeah, you travel. You don't enjoy that much the travel. You go on, travel to Vietnam and go straight to a hotel. It's not like right. you're going to go right. with the girls and, and be suntanning and let's go to the beach. No, nah, you're in a hotel room unless you have a date. And if you, if you have a day, then you have that just one day and then you come back to a room. So, uh, so I'll tell her, if you want to go, go. Be careful what you say, do, because they'll use it for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were kind of on both sides. You were a contestant and then you were like the man. Um, what was kind of a more enjoyable experience? Hmm, that's a good question. I enjoy them both. Because you're in a team, you know, when I, when I was with the guys, it was fun. We're like hanging out, working out, whatever you do, whatever that you do. And then, then at night you talk, whatever. So it's just like being in a, on a locker room, you know, with a bunch of guys. And then when you're the bachelor, then you're like, okay, you, you're more tired because you have to go every day. You have no break, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, but then you enjoy meeting the girls, meeting the people, getting to know. I, lo I love people. I love speaking to people. So you get to know them. And, and obviously, it's more pressure. If you say what's the least pressure, what you feel easier, it was on The Bachelorette because you have nothing to do. But the other one, you're like, boom, boom, just going at it. And they'll tell you and what to do. And this course is this. And this is, so so it's, it's more stressful. 